Greetings, everyone. This is Live Life Well TV host Robert Landau. This is our fourth episode of a brand new show here on Live Life Well TV called Top 10. This episode, we're going to look at some of the most expensive hotel rooms in the world. Stay tuned. All right, got your passport and wallet ready. Here we go. I want to thank those at businessinsider.com for this really fascinating information. Uh, so let's start with number 10. It's a suite in a New York City hotel. It's actually suite 5000 in the Mandarin Oriental Hotel in New York City. You will not find this no less than 3,300 square foot suite um, on the hotel website. You kind of probably wouldn't even be informed of it if you gave the hotel a call. It's something that only VIPs know about, it is said. It's located on the 50th floor of the hotel in New York City. There is a vast, stunning living room, three bedrooms, a sumptuous dining area, and a library, a full library of movies. So if you actually have the wherewithal to book this suite and know who to book it with if you happen to be a VIP. You also better happen to have no less than $36,000 per night to stay in this suite. So next up, number nine is the Princess Grace Suite. So if we're talking about Princess Grace, where do you think that suite in the Hotel de Paris might be? Not in Paris, because the full name of the hotel, as you might have guessed, is the Hotel de Paris Monte Carlo in Monaco. It is spread out over two floors. The total square footage of this Princess Grace Suite happens to be 9,795 square feet. Think about that. 9,795 square feet. Of course, the suite is dedicated to Princess Grace of Monaco. There is everything from a stunning private terrace there to a sauna and steam room in this two-floor suite. Uh, there are two bedrooms that also offer stunning views of the sea below. How much would it cost to book this two-floor 9,700? 95 square foot suite at the time that this was found on the web, $37,000 per night. Here is number eight. It's called the Royal Suite and it's pretty royal because it's at the Plaza Hotel in New York City, New York. There's a reason that this is actually called the Royal Suite. It actually draws its in, uh, inspiration from Louis XIV. The suite has three amazing bathrooms. Of course, there are bedrooms to go along with it, but it has three amazing bathrooms that are covered in mosaic marble tile. There are 24 carat gold plated fixtures throughout the other rooms. Guests who stay in this 4,400 square foot suite also have their own private elevator and a magnificent view of magnificent Fifth Avenue. How much does this suite cost per night? $40,000. So you better have your own private elevator for that. Next up is number seven. It is the penthouse suite in the Hotel Cala di Volpe in Puerto Cervo, Italy. 
to stay there, it's $41,177. And despite its rustic looking decor, this suite is 2,690 square foot. <laughs> and really, it is the essence of luxury. Guests can enjoy a terracotta solarium, a private swimming pool, a dining area that overlooks the gorgeous Costa Smeralda. The suite even has a private wine cellar. Sounds wonderful if you ask me. How about number six? These are a lot of fun and they're a little pricey, but here is the Grand Riyadh at the Royal Mansour, M-A-N-S-O-U-R, in Marrakesh, Morocco. The Royal Mansour is home to 53 individual three-story, what they call Riyadhs, and the Grand Riyadh is indeed truly grand with a capital G. Uh, you will feel like true royalty in the suite, thanks to the amazing Moroccan decor and endless en uh, amenities that you will find available here. In this suite, there happens to be a home cinema, a personal bar and gym, and a spa room as well. The Grand Riyadh also provides views of the city that are second only to the view from a mosque tower. It's a great way to spend time in Marrakesh, Morocco, if you happen to have $43,480 to spend on this luxurious expanse per night. Any takers? Mm, if I had it, I would. <laughs> Next up, number five, it is the Hilltop Villa at the Laukala Island, Fiji. Fiji is a stunning place to visit. This is ideal for large families and groups. It's a hilltop villa uh, that actually builds itself as more than just your typical suite. It, it's an estate, really, the, the, the property, which sits on a private island, and it comes with a private cook, a nanny, and a chauffeur. In addition to the main residence, there are also two guest residences for your um, staying needs and a serene pool surrounded by beautiful exotic tropical gardens. If the ocean happens to be more to your liking, you can head down to the water sports center there, which is equipped with no less than 14 boats at a stay of $45,000 a night, but Fiji is a magical, magical place. Number four is a penthouse at the Faena Hotel, Miami Beach, Miami, Florida at $50,000 a night. This suite is designed by film director Boz Lerman and his wife, set designer Catherine Martin. The hotel is unsurprisingly known for its very bold look. If you've ever seen a Baz Luhrmann film, you'll understand what I mean by that. There are animal prints and ivory and marble interiors everywhere you look in the hotel. And by the way, the hotel is spelled F-A-E-N-A. -E the Faena Hotel, Miami Beach. Every one of the penthouse suites five bedrooms boasts its own balcony and floor to ceiling windows that surround the suites two stories provide equally incredible ocean views. Again, if that tickles your fancy, you better shell forth $50,000 a night, which brings us to number three. It is the penthouse suite at the Hotel Martinez in Cannes, France. A celebrity favorite, of course, during the one and only Cannes Film Festival, Hotel Martinez's 17,975 square foot penthouse suite looks out onto the bay 
of Cannes, the hotel's private beach, and the Boulevard de la Croissette as well. All that you can see from uh, this penthouse view. Guests won't be able to resist sunning on the suite's beautiful wood paneled terrace. Who could resist doing that? If you want to stay there, it is only $53,200 a night, which brings us to number two in our top 10 countdown, which happens to be the five bedroom terrace suite at the Mark Hotel in New York City, New York. It comes complete with two king bedrooms, two queen bedrooms, and a full bedroom as well. This 4,788 square foot suite really is its own mansion right in the middle of amazing never sleeping New York City. In the 5.5 bathrooms in this suite, you will find black and white marble and Italian toiletries made exclusively for the Mark Hotel. Uh, if you like to cook, there happens to be a custom designed kitchen. There's also plenty of outdoor space too in this five bedroom terrace suite. The suite offers a skylighted pavilion and 2,500 square feet of terrace overlooking amazing Central Park. It is a view unlike any other. To stay in this suite, at the Mark Hotel in New York City will cost you $75,000 a night. Which brings us to number one. It happens to be the Royal Penthouse Suite at the Hotel President Wilson in Geneva, Switzerland. Guests who happen to stay and are lucky enough to stay at the Royal Penthouse Suite in the Hotel President Wilson in Geneva have the entire eighth floor of the President Wilson Hotel all to themselves. Uh, Every luxury is addressed here from the living room, which comes complete with a fabulous grand piano, billiards, a rare book collection, a bathroom that features Hermes toiletries, and a wonderful refreshing jacuzzi that overlooks magnificent Lake Geneva. Uh, in true Swiss fashion, the penthouse also boasts a state-of-the-art security system, uh, cameras, bulletproof windows, complete with a panic button. Should you ever need it, you would need, by the way, $80,000 a night to stay in this uh, suite, the Royal Penthouse Suite at the Hotel President Wilson in Geneva, Switzerland. So there you have it. Wow. If you got the money, you can't beat any one of these amazing top 10 hotel suites and stays in the world. This has been Robert Landau, Live Life Well TV host with another episode of Top 10. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you at a, another episode of Top 10 next week. Mm -hmm.